Yo, 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 what it is, what it is, man. It's your boy, Jay Joshua. And I don't got much time because, you know, I'm outside once again. And, um, you know, things just get kind of weird when you when you outside. You know, people be watching you. And I can see if I was out there passing out flyers and things like that. But when you're doing a message, you know, you want to get your point across. You don't want to be, like, watched and things. But whatever I'm coming to y'all about Lucifer if you, for the ones that's out there you know if you're secretly following Lucifer and um if you're serving two masters or if you're serving no master at all I need people to realize man um this battle that we're dealing with is real it's demons amongst us and um they out for your soul man they out for your mind body and soul and the personal issue is a lot of folks, you know, they following this Lucifer thing. They, uh, and you got a lot of sophisticated people to, uh, they make the money. They make the money and then they, um, they feel like they can get out the game. And they feel like they can do certain stuff. But, you know, people got to be cautious, man. You got to be got to be aware of the things that you are doing because it's real. The battle is real. I was lost at a point coming up. A lot of You got a lot of people that's not going to really tell you the truth. And um, you got to find it out for yourself. But following Lucifer, there is no forgiveness. There is no forgiveness. Anyone that's following him, along with the Angels that was kicked out with him. There is no forgiveness, man. No matter how, which way you put it, Satan and the rest of them, they go in hell. And that's where you have to draw the line. You have to make a decision in life. You can't live out a whole life stacking up as much money as you can, evil money at that, that comes from the hands of the devil because they don't want everybody to have uh, material materials and money in the world unless you're doing certain things out here to, uh, to get it. So when you're doing that and then people, they feel like, you know, once they get a certain age, they want to get out and they want to keep certain stuff and they want to still hang around certain people. Just know that that becomes a problem, man, because you got spirits out here, you got evil demons out here. There's got a lot of folks that don't want to see you not even do messages. You know, as crazy as it seems, they don't want to see you get the truth out there. Because people can't hold a conversation, you know. And it have to be about something for them to hold a conversation. Like 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 how I'm doing right now, people can't do this. A lot of you know, this is these comes from God Himself. And um just following evilness can get you following Lucifer in the dark side can get you messed up you know got people riding around like crazy before you know what's crazy before I came out here a few minutes ago nobody was out here you know now it's a hundred cars people walking by and things like that but these these are the things that I go through in life you know um People just want to hear what you what you're doing for free. On top of that, you know, <laughs> like, but you know, this is the thing I don't get about when they come with God. People, you want us to feed y'all all this information for free, but you will go time after time after time, and you'll give you know these evil folks your money, and you will give the government and the state, and you will get these evil. You know, just these evil family members, your time and your money. And the Bible always say you have to pay for the truth. But the way this America thing is set up is most people that's walking with God are poor. So where y'all think the truth is coming from? Ask yourself, where's the real truth coming from? And then what these people do is say I'm a say I'm a person that put videos on YouTube and I just started. You got people that have been on YouTube for years or just put videos on the internet for years. 
This is what people do. They look at new people like myself that, uh, or just people that don't have maybe in the millions of subscribers, views or whatever, and they take and they steal people's ideas. You know, they run off with your stuff. And this is no different from, from prisons. It's no different from jail. This is no different from the world. Seeing in Hollywood, people steal each other's songs all day. This goes on in movies. People steal um, plots. The certain, not Maybe not the whole thing of the movie, but certain things that would have been done. People steal those things. This, people steal. <laughs> like, people don't have an idea. And the thing about Lucifer, and if you join it, and if you follow in them, they don't have identities. Lucifer do not have an identity. This is why they use clones. You know, they clone people. And they, even they, some, some of these artists' ideas, they have to come from Lucifer himself, and he don't have an identity. So he's, he look at people that have talent, but they don't have a name yet out there, and they steal their ideas, and they make movies, and they remake these things. And this is why you can't serve two masters. You can't. You have to serve the true living God because ain't no forgiveness for Lucifer. Him, the one third of the angels, they're going to hell in the end. They burn. You know, with their friends, family, and whoever else was down with it. So you gotta you you gotta make a decision. You walking through a fine line in life, and you can't keep living a life where. You try to blend in with the community by using your money and power. You know, you an evil person. You try to blend in with the, the folks, you know, by you, by dressing up in these suits. And, and, and y'all leave the God people to be poor and, sh and shabby and stuff. So it make them look like they're the, the, the evil stealers, thieves, and, and the evil people. Y'all are dressed clean and things like that from time to time. You got to... This is the stuff that's, this is why I don't even want to be in America. No more at this point. Because things, people not honest, man. Not real, man. And why should I have to live in this stuff, you know, with secretly gay people? Why should I have to live around this stuff, man, if I'm not doing it? Because misery love company and they want to continue to show me that they can stun on me. They want to continue to show me that you can skirt your car. Or, 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 or mess my life up so you can continue to see how I'm diminishing every day. That's what's going on, man. I don't hold nothing back. And I try to break things down for you folks. And like I said, I don't do a lot of messages outside because I don't want to have to go off on people or I don't want to have to like, you know, like I'm a dangerous person spiritually and God, like when people come for me, Things happen in your life, man. Like you, you lose, you lose heavy. And most people be like, man, that dude, he don't know what he's talking about, man. I'm gonna test him anyway. And then you know what happens? A lot of people, everybody that I have cut off, even with girls, they always try to get back with me or try to get back in my life because they know, you know, at some point that. I was telling them, you know, the truth. Not everything I was doing was telling them the truth, but I was trying to um, enlighten them in certain ways. And then when things hit the fan, when it's not, uh, when y'all not seeing eye to eye and y'all fall out, they come back around. And um, by that time to me, especially if you spiritually tried me over, over something spiritually, and I can't let you back in, man. That's what I mean when I say no forgiveness. I mean people that have tried intentionally, spiritually, to test your spirit, to test your faith on 